Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we re diving into a topic that sounds like it has ripped straight from a sci-fi thriller, the dark side of biohacking. You've all heard the exciting promises, right? Enhancing our bodies, optimizing our health, maybe even extending our lifespans. It's the ultimate frontier of human potential. But what if this incredible progress has a hidden cost? What if the very code that makes us who we are, our DNA, becomes the next major target for hackers? It sounds futuristic, but it's a conversation we need to have right now. Think about it. More and more people are getting their genomes sequenced through services like 23andMe or for specific medical reasons. This data is incredibly personal, holding the secrets to our health, our ancestry, and our biological predispositions. The world of biohacking, this information is gold. It's used to create personalized supplements, custom diets, and bespoke wellness plans. Gold is to hack our own biology for peak performance. But here's where it gets unsettling. Where's all this genetic data being stored? How secure is it? We worry about our credit card numbers and passwords being stolen, but imagine your genetic code getting into the wrong hands. This isn't just about identity theft anymore. It's about something far more fundamental. Hackers could potentially use this information to create what's being called hyper-personalized ransomware. They could threaten to release sensitive genetic information that might affect your insurance rates, your job prospects, or even your social standing, unless you pay a hefty sum. The scary part is that it doesn't stop there. Let's take it a step further. In the most extreme scenarios, experts are warning about the possibility of targeted biological attacks. Imagine a weapon engineered to affect only people with a specific genetic marker, and this could be used to target a particular family, an ethnic group, or even an individual political leader. It moves hacking from the digital world, where you can just reset a password, into the physical realm, targeting our very bodies in a way we've never seen before. Now, this isn't meant to be fear-mongering. The goal of biohacking is overwhelmingly positive, to empower us to live healthier, better lives. But as with any powerful technology, we have to be aware of the potential risks and demand strong regulations and security measures. We need to ensure that our most intimate data, our DNA, is protected with the highest level of security possible. It's a race between innovation and security, and the stakes couldn't be higher. What are your thoughts on this? Is the promise of biohacking worth the risk? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And if you found this topic interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives.